So cherry like the fruit, yeah. So what was it like working on The Office? You guys still have such a rabbit fan base. I guess so. It's, uh, it's you know, it was, it was misery. No, yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> It was fantastic. You're laughing all the time, and I, I wasn't there uh, that much. Uh, like I was never a guy that was there every week. Um, but uh, oh, you're, you know, Steve's the loveliest and sweetest and funniest guy, and you got to stop yourself from bursting out laughing. And and then as the years went, I worked more with other the other people and find out how funny Rain is or Krasinski or Ed or you know Jenna, and then everybody else, you know Phyllis and Kate. You know, like they're all everybody's super funny. So. It's a nice environment, in a nutshell. That could have been a one-sentence answer. It's a, it's a nice environment. That's half the battle. So what was it like working on Jurassic World? No, that was that was a blast. That was a, uh, you know, Collins. Uh, he was a big Office fan, so they. That's why they hired me, I think. Um, I, I'm positive that's why they hired me. Uh, that was, you know, I mean, it's great. You're in a big movie, and you uh, you walk on the set, and holy smokes, Chris Pratt looks like a movie. I mean, he's like. He looks like he looks like Harrison Ford or Robert Redford. Like he look, guy looks like one of these movie stars. And um, so it's a ton of fun. And Judy Greer is as sweet as they come. I'm a big fan of the show. Hit the floor, and you are in a huge story arc. I know. Have you been, it's 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 so it's uh, funny. I didn't actually really know the show until I got, and it was. I mean, it's a ton of fun. And they're so sweet. And McKinley, he was the first guy. Uh, that I met, you know, every, every, everybody, I mean, everybody, but he was the first guy I met, and, like, from him on down, it, it couldn't have been sweeter and kinder and, you know, more welcoming, and they're all freaking just gorgeous, the guys, the girl, like, everybody's, look at that guy, look at that, look at her, wow, wow, <laughs> Sherry, if I didn't have this thing, oh, there you go, no, um, yeah, so, that was a ton of fun, um, yeah, it just started airing, right? Yeah. Yes, I just saw you on, I think it premiered on Monday or Tuesday. I'm, uh, I'm, and I'm head of the league. Yes, the NBA the league. Commissioner, the, you know, Adam, ah, uh, what's my last name? I can't remember my last name. You're causing trouble. You're going to make them sell the team. Well, we'll see what happens. It's early on. We don't know what's going to happen. You know what's happening. You know, I can't tell you. James, <laughs> James La Rosa, he, he, have my head. He is the, created the show and runs the show. I guess you don't do any cheerleading moves. We'll see. It's early in the season. <laughs> Set your VCRs. So if everybody wants to keep up with you, are you on Facebook or the Twitter? That's, there you go. That's what I call it, too, the Twitter. I do, you know, I, get, I did my very first tweet with Kimberly Elise on my birthday. So we filmed, my, like my first day of filming there was in February, almost a year ago. It was my birthday, and I was asking her about it because I'm on a show called Odd Mom Out, which is, which is on Bravo. It's a, it's pretty fun. It's actually a very funny show, and uh, and the Bravo folks were saying, you know, you gotta, you should, you should, you know, try and get on that stuff. So I was sitting with Kimberly. She was, couldn't have been nicer. Cause she's like, here, yeah, I'll help you here. Come on, let's go. And uh, and it's so funny. She's got two million followers or something insane. And uh, so well, my first tweet was a picture of uh, Kimberly and me. Me and Kimberly. <laughs> so there you go. Hit the floor. She took care of me. And, uh, and, I, and, uh, and I think I got like three followers out of it. Was it like joining the Bravo family? They seem very supportive of their show. It's really great. Yeah. And it's an uh, odd mom out. Super funny show. Super funny. The, um, you know, the, the, the folks on it. It's a summer show. So we, we start filming that in a month and it'll be on in the summer. It skewers the Upper East Side of New York. Yes, I heard about and, that. Um, show. You know, it's uh, it's kind of like a Sex in the City. Only we're, you know, we're married now, and there's kids, and you know, but there's a couple of single gals who are out and about with a different fella every week, if you will. Um, but it's great. It's a Time Magazine Top Ten Show of the Year. So are you looking forward to the art show? Are this your first year attending? Uh, the art show, yes. I've been coming to the St. Jude Show uh, events for 25 years. Oh, I'm very, uh, very involved, and, and they're the family, the Thomas family. They're good friends of mine, and good friends of my family. And my younger brother uh, is is great friends with. Uh, initially, it was he was great friends with one of the one of the grandkids, Jason, and who's playing tonight? Actually, Jason's one of the bands playing tonight. Oh, Mr. And. Um, 
and then through that, like our all our families, you know, gotten to know each other, and then. Are you an LA native? No, Boston. Oh, okay, I so. But my uh, my my uh, my folks moved out here when I was in college. You don't so sound like you're from Boston. We moved around a lot. My dad couldn't keep a job, so we kept <laughs> going. You are yeah. charming. Wow. Well, not if you married, talk to my so wife. Not looking you know. like that. But you are very nice. Thank you so well, much. Thank you, Cherry. I look forward to the new Pleasure. of the summer show. I'm filming. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Very good. And then you'll get to see me doing some you. cheerleading on Hit the Floor.